Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, there's nothing that makes me happier than seeing crafts that are made with actual natural products, like things that you find in nature. And the other day I was looking at Etsy and I saw these adorable cork gnomes and I would have purchased them, but they were all sold out. And so I figured I had to come up with a way of making my own because they were so darn cute. So this is my version of a little wine cork gnome and I'm going to teach you how to make one right now. For this project you'll need a cork, fake fur, beans or tiny little wooden beads, an acorn top, exacto knife, scissors and a hot glue gun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to choose my nose and there's so many different little things here that you can use. You can use a little bead like this and that comes in all kinds of different colors or you can use different kinds of peas or beans. I'm going to just use one of these little black beans right here for my nose. Take a cork and you know you want to make sure that you're using a cork that isn't like um, waxed so you actually want a cork that has been used and you're going to just cut a little bit off here at a diagonal. So kind of where the halfway mark is and you're just going to take your exacto knife and cut it straight on down so that you just cut off a little teeny bit of it. Just like that, like a little pie wedge right off of there. And then I'm going to take my fake fur here and you only need a tiny little bit and I'm going to lay it on my cork and figure out how much I need. So I'm looking at needing just about that much right there. Now here's the thing about cutting the fake fur. You want to pull it in the opposite direction of where you want to cut. So I want to cut this a tiny bit shorter. So I'm going to come push all the hair back away from where I'm going to make my cut and I'm just going to come right across. There we go. And then I'm going to pull off to the side and cut straight down. That's the only thing with this is that you kind of got to get the nap of the hair. You got to get the hair going away from where you're making the cut. But as you pull it down, you can see you get that nice little gnome beard effect happening. Now you have a choice here. You can make your little hat facing down like that so like he's got it tipped over his eyes, like it's tipped over his eyes. Or you can do it going back the other direction so that it's tipping back. I kind of like to do it so that his little eyes are being shaded. So what I'm going to do now is take it, put the glue right here, right at that cut line. If you wanted to do it the other direction, you would put him on the back side there. But I like to do it with the coming down over his eyes. And then just take your fake fur and glue it into place right at that edge. Like that. And then we're going to take our little cap and place the cap right on the top. So I'm just going to glue this. And believe it or not, if you can't find acorns in your neighborhood, like you don't have any trees, you can find these, believe it or not, on Etsy and also on Amazon. Isn't that crazy? You can buy everything. There we go. We smooth that down and now we just need his nose. And that's going to go right there so I'm just going to put a tiny little drop of glue right there. And just glue his little nose in place. And there we go. He's all set and let's let's bring out some of his friends so you can see all the different little configurations that you can make of these little guys. So as I said, these guys have beans for noses, different colored beards. He's got a bean. Now this guy, he has a little bead. This guy has a little bead. This guy has a little bead. 
They're certainly going to give the seven dwarves a run for their money. And that's all there is to making your very own wine cork gnome. Now, you know, what's great about these guys is that you can make so many of them, and they each have their own personalities. I mean, there's just, you know, nothing more than I can say about these, that, but that they're as cute as can be. So I hope that you, too, will make a whole mass of gnomes and put them all over your house. For more fun ideas with nature-inspired crafts, check us out at sophie-world.com. And if you like this, make sure that you give us a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, make sure you subscribe so that you get your videos every Wednesday and Friday, which is when we put up a new video each week. For more great ideas, check us out at sophie-world.com. And big shout out and thanks to the Etsy creator who created these because they're adorable. Mm -hmm.